Hi, my name is Sasha. Welcome to the Mothership. Let's see what our messages are for today. I've already pre-shuffled the cards. The heart of the reading, we have the Ten of Cups and the Seven of Swords reverse. So this has to do with not being disillusioned. Sometimes when you have illusion, it's really challenging to be your authentic self, to know who you are, to know what you want, uh, because of the, I'm hearing the transparency of falsities. What that means is sometimes you have like a filter that you see the world through, or a veil, if you will, that doesn't allow you to see the truth because of what you're already preconditioned with. If you haven't yet, it's time to start with Sophia's programs because this helps you to deprogram yourself by removing negativity that you've been programmed with throughout the course of your whole life. And once you remove this, you're able to see clearly and you can then know more authentically what it is that gives you happiness so that you can go for your happiness. This, uh, the heart of the reading is all about this right now, coming out of that uh, I'm even hearing self-sabotage, uh, self-deception, and moving into what makes you truly, truly happy. So let's move to the Divine Feminine aspect. Today we have the Universe reversed, Knight of Coins reversed, the World, and the Six of Pentacles reversed. So this is about achieving that harmony and success on your path, especially monetarily. Maybe some of you need to... Begin putting yourself first more. And this also has to do with grounding yourself and doing a little bit more of that inner work that can really anchor you into your core essence. Uh, because some of you are really feeling that push and that pull. That push and the pull on your twin flame path is all about you getting into mission. If you're not in mission, you will continue to experience the, I want to say, agony <laughs> But it's, um, it's that push and pull between you and your partner because there needs to be inner work done. So you're coming to a completion point. And this is where everything will be uh, brought together. You'll have synchronicity. Everything is connected. You'll experience unity and oneness. And some of you are moving towards that. And there's just... Um, there's just some of you who are not quite understanding your twin flame role, your contract, and your path. This is where when you begin working with especially the twin flame union package and the master package, you can begin to really set things in motion in your life when it comes to your own soul's path. And this will help also unite you with your twin as well. More importantly, it will shift your focus to your mission as you remove negativity by working through the programs. I would suggest you get the Twin Flame Union package now and the Master package now. Uh, there's still a half price deal going on and I'm not sure how much longer that will be available. For the Divine Masculine today we have Strength reversed, we have the Hangman, Queen of Wands reversed, and Seven of Wands reversed. So this has a lot to do with balancing your inner polarity. By polarity, I mean your dualism. Those light and shadow aspects of yourself, of your inner and outer world, as well as your divine masculine and feminine within yourself. This is where your strength comes from because when you balance yourself internally, you're more in touch with your true essence of who you really are, and that allows you to have power from within. When you change things inside of yourself and you willingly and consciously initiate these transformations in your life within, the external world that you see reflected, even in your experiences and in who you attract and situations you attract, will change as well. So there's a need to change your perspective entirely and look at everything with a new viewpoint, the viewpoint of your internal self. This is going back to your childhood and rewriting your childhood. 
This is deprogramming yourself. Again, this um, the packages that Sophia has created will help you to change your life by deprogramming yourself of this negative that's within. This is your shadow work. And there's also a, a really, um, I want to say a magnetism that you're feeling. Um, but some of you are experiencing this on the opposite spectrum of uh, repelling. So think of a magnet when you think of this that has two poles. So some of you need to flip that magnet around. And however your life is going, you may need to look at where that magnet is and which way you need to flip it. But in order to attract what you truly desire and who you truly desire as well, there's a need to really uh, get more passionate and have that, I'm also hearing like have that passion and faith not only within yourself, but with the, the path that the creator has put before you. No matter what your belief systems are, that path that's before you, where you are in control, but not controlling. You are at one with the universe, so to speak. And you are aligned in your power. Therefore, you're directing and setting the stage of your life by free will and by your choice. Let's get a few guidance cards for today. Divine Masculine, this is a call to go within and to do that inner child wounding, healing. And also this can be uh, working with kids and parenting and being a role model. This is about changing the generational timelines as well and understanding that you're, you have a huge role to play in this. Whatever your ancestors handed to you is what they couldn't complete in their lifetime and now it's up to you to change those things for all of humanity and beyond. This isn't just about planet Earth. This is about beyond planet Earth as well. At the heart of the reading, we have compassion. This is all about releasing those judgments and criticisms and focusing on love and higher wisdom and higher compassion. This is about truly loving yourself. And when you can truly love yourself and accept yourself completely, you won't find that you're externally judging other people and their situations as harshly. Mostly uh, that's just things within yourself that you haven't faced yet. So have the courage to have the compassion. Divine Feminine, this is the perfect time for you to start. Some of you are talking yourselves yourselves out of this even starting the programs by Sophia you're having huge resistance some of yourself some of you are telling yourselves that you don't need to or you're having excuses or you're putting other priorities first because you think they're first uh, but this is getting you nowhere so understand that this this is the time to start these brand new ventures and to change the next course of the wheel for yourself because that's what's happening. You're coming to a completion point and in order to move forward into a brand new existence and a brand new life right now, this is needed. You have to give birth to new conditions right now. So if you release the old conditions, the conditioning that's been placed upon you, then you truly can birth the new conditions. But if you can't release those old conditionings and old patternings and old thought forms, you're just going to continue in the same circular fashion. The same wheel will continue to spin around and around and around. 